All right, folks, it's Ethan the Farmer. I'm sorry I haven't been around much. It was a really chaotic week last week. A lot of uh, needs out at the Rainbow Gathering. A lot of things happened. Um, as most of you know, um, there was a shooting out there at the Rainbow Gathering against one of the fellow Rainbow folks out there, and uh, he was shot by a local and killed. Um, Frank, or Larry Frank Duggar, guy that we sat around the fire with and spent time with. Anyway, um, not to minimize that, but the locals are bigots. It's a nasty situation. I'm going to do a whole series on that here in a couple days. But I wanted to let you know, today we were out there in uh, Tampa. Last night we were in Tampa, walking the streets, spreading the message, and taking back our farms, food, families, and freedom. And here we are um, right now, stopped at a rest area, continuing on our, our mission and our journey to spread the message. So... As always, if you can donate, we can. you can always donate at donate.gtkyf.org. Again, that's donate.gtkyf.org. Some of you folks have asked what, uh, one of the reasons why we had to stop on this little journey just now was because the truck has decided it wants to overheat. Tiny House has a couple times, and that's a little bit of concerning. So if you all uh, want to say a prayer, that'd be helpful as we're kind of just flying by the seat of our pants, headed down the road, doing our best to make a difference. Um, that's what we're called to do, to make a difference in this world and um, let people know what's going on as this country is self-destructing via racism, via bigotry, via the good old boys club that protects murderers in little Hodunk counties in Florida. And it's wrong. So, um, yeah. And anyhow, it's kind of funny that when I called out the locals on their bigotry and their nonsense, um, and now they've turned and attacked me, which is really kind of comical, I think. It's kind of like, okay, so we can't get this guy to shut up, so we're just gonna attack him and maybe he'll shut up then. And anybody that knows me, especially you folks that have followed me for the last umpteen years through all these battles, know pretty well that threatening me to shut up has never worked well. It's never turned out well. And uh, so, interesting fact, these locals clearly don't have a clue um, where this is going to end up if they continue to push their hatred, their bigotry, their racism. They're frankly hate crimes. What they are doing is blatant open hate crimes and it's sanctioned by their sheriff. So I would encourage you folks to uh, give the Marion County Sheriff a call and tell him hello. The little guy doesn't want to talk to me anymore. He's decided I'm just a little too unfriendly uh, and calling him out on being a bigot with his statements that, well, we don't really know if a crime has been committed, even though Frank is dead, um, for simply walking down a road, exercising his deeply held beliefs at a religious event. That's kind of, um, well, I'd say that goes against our constitutional rights in this country. So anyway, um, yeah, uh, many thanks to the volunteers at the gathering that helped me uh, be able to do what I did and help me take care of the situation and even paint my rig you know many thanks to the awesome volunteers that are currently on the road with me in this lovely journey um i don't know how some of them think but i'm pretty certain they probably think oh my gosh what did i get myself into but anyhow um you know i'm always a little bit of fun on these adventures and uh i do fly by the seat of my pants even if it's on fire so I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday here. We're hoping to be in Miami for Friday night, tomorrow night with the llamas. And we're going to spread some message of taking back our farms, food, families, and freedom. It's time we get corporate money out of our government and bring back the fourth branch, we the people. I hope you all have a great Thursday.